Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this homemade world map painting which you may or may not have seen in my latest video. So what you're going to need for this is just an empty photo frame, some A5 paper, some acrylic paint, some paint brushes, some masking tape and a very sharp pencil. The first thing you're going to want to do is just google world map outline or map outline of some sort and a, a bunch will come up. The one I went for had a black background with white outline which made it a lot easier for me to trace. You also need to make sure that your laptop or computer is turned up all the way on the brightness. Then you can just take some masking tape and fix your paper onto your screen so it doesn't move and take your pencil and just start tracing. This is so easy, the whole thing is super super easy and all you do is just trace out the countries and the continents with a pencil and that's the first step done. So once you've finished tracing your map, you can take off the masking tape and remove your paper. And then you're going to want to get some kind of plate or something so you can pop your paint on there. Um, I chose a few different colours and you can either get inspiration from the internet or just do what you want. I did two different versions of this painting. The first one I did, I just painted in every country that I'd been to. You can do this as well or you can just do whatever you want. And the other one I did was I just coloured in each continent in a different colour. I like the first one but it didn't really look good on the wall so I decided to go for the second one to put in the frame and that is what I'm doing here. So I started with Australasia as the continent and I just mixed together black, green and yellow and then on the Asia continent I did red and white and so on and it just looks really effective I think. You can pretty much see what I'm doing here, I'm just taking the paint and just putting it in wherever I think it would look good and then dabbing it around a bit so it kind of smudges together which I think looks really cool. So this is the finished painting, I really like it. You're gonna have to wait for it to dry for a bit before you can do anything with it. And then once it is dry, you can pop it into your frame. If there's any extra paper left over at the edge, I just folded mine down and then put it into the frame again after that. So don't worry about that. And that's it. And I just popped it on my bedroom wall while I was redecorating my room. And I really like it. I think it's really cool. And it's nice to have a personal touch in my bedroom. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh.